the day has come. <laughs> um, this is going to be my sixth makeup collection, which is crazy to think about. Last night, Thomas and I watched from 14 to 18 in a row, and it was nuts to see not only how obviously the makeup changed, but also how I changed and how my mannerisms changed and how most of my voice changed. So yes, this is just to add to that collection the collection of makeup collections so be sure to like comment and subscribe and welcome to a makeup collection of a 19 year old so as always i'm gonna start off with the vanity space so this vanity is from ikea the chair is from walmart the mirror is from ikea and this is from staples and i think that's it we also have two of these on both sides they don't have makeup in them though but they're also from ikea all of that will be linked down below so let's begin with this first compartment so in here i have my sunscreen so this one is by la roche posay and this one is also by la roche posay so something to note actually about these two sunscreens is they are the same sunscreen this one is just marketed as body and this one is marketed as face but one time i had a sales rep tell me that they are actually the exact same thing just in different bottles if you read the ingredients on both of them the exact same amounts so that's a little hack for you guys this one i think is three dollars more than this one but you get twice the amount so that's a good little hack and then i also have the glam glow mega illuminating moisturizer Next, we have all of my single shadows. So I have a few. We have this one by Laura Sanchez. This one has been with me for a really long time. We also have this Dido one. I love the color of this. That's just so pretty. We also have some liquid ones as well as MAC ones. We have this potted one by Lise Watier, also extremely beautiful. Annabelle Juviance, this is actually a lash serum as well as some eyelash glue. Next, we are on to this very full container. So this is kind of my face powders, I guess you can say. So first we have this Chanel face powder. That's the wrong way. So it looks like this. So I use this more as a bronzer. Next, we have the Hula Benefit Bronzer. We have this Elizabeth, Elizabeth Arden Blush. It's a little bit too dark for me, so I think I'm gonna give that away to one of my friends. We have this Ofra Blush. Again, been with me a long time, I love it. A Stila Cream Blush. We have this brand new one by It Cosmetics. Really pretty powder blush. We have a Pure Bronzer. I've said this in the past, pure powders are my absolute favorite. Another Ofra highlighter, another pure highlighter. Oh my goodness, that's so pretty. This is one of my favorite blushes of all time. It's kind of like the Dior one where it changes based on your skin tone, because this is not what it comes out as on my face. Next we have the Fenty Beauty Powder space case highlighter the chanel highlighter balm really pretty shade and lastly a revlon blush oh it's actually i still have not opened it <laughs> next we move on to more so cream based products for the face so we have this lise watier color correction palette nude by nature setting powder this is my favorite powder. This is the Maybelline Superstay. We have the CoverGirl Clean Fresh Skin Milk. The Dream BB Fresh, I have to get rid of this. I think I've had it since my first collection. The Smashbox Halo, whoa. Smashbox Halo Healthy Glow. I, to be honest, do not like this. It does not work with my skin and made me break out. The Nude by Nature Primer, and then two Fit Me concealers based on whatever season I'm in. Next, on to mascaras. So we have the Roller Lash by Benefit, Dior Show Iconic, Falsies by Maybelline, uh, Lash Loving by Marcel, best lengthening mascara ever, okay? Get this if you have stubby lashes. They're Real by Benefit, 
Smashbox super fan. I have two of these. This is by far probably my favorite man's mascara, hands down. The L'Oreal Voluminous Original. This is great just because I have green eyes. Telescopic Waterproof Ico. Best waterproof mascara out there. Trust me on it. Clinique Eyeliner. Ciate London Eyeliner. Nude by Nature Eyeliner. And this is a NYX Brow Pencil. So this is my everyday makeup or my most used makeup when I do wear it. So number one is the Butter Bronzer by Physicians Formula. The best bronzer, there is not a single one out there that is better. Next, I have a Chanel powder, but this one's actually my color because <laughs> I'm very fair. Next, the Tower 28 mascara, I've been trying it out. The Benefit Gimme Brow, as you can see, I've used it lots. The packaging has completely worn off. The Chubby Stick by Clinique, that's a blush. The Chanel blush, really pretty color. The Chanel uh, Soleil Bronzer, great bronzer. Another pure product, look at how pretty that blush is. CoverGirl Brow Gel, Lise Boitier Lip Oil, Le Roche Posay Lip Balm, sorry, I couldn't remember that word, Clinique Concealer, Lise Boitier Lip Crayon, Drunk Elephant Lip Balm, Dior Lip Oil, Quo Eyebrow Pencil, Chanel Lip Gloss, Clinique Lip Balm, Chanel Concealer. This is probably my favorite concealer. It's just the best shade for me. And lastly, still one of the biggest collections I own, which is lip products. So number one, we have this CoverGirl Lip Balm, this Nude by Nature Lipstick, This pure lip gloss, the Lifter lip gloss, a lot of nude by nature, lip oils, a pure lipstick. This is a Rimmel London lipstick. Actually, sorry, that's Elizabeth Arden. Thought that was Rimmel. Revlon lipstick, Nude by Nature, just some lip balms, lip care. This is a exfoliator, this is a sleeping mask, and then a lip balm. NYX, Lise Watier, Thrive Cosmetics, NYX, and Saint Lux again. And I just have one eyeshadow palette. This is the Pure X barbie collaboration i just love the colors in there as well as one setting spray this is the urban k all nighter as for makeup brushes these are the everyday ones that i grab so i have my eyelash curler and then like five brushes and then all my other brushes are in there i have a lot and guys that brings us to the end of a makeup collection of a 19 year old so I hope you guys enjoyed watching it. I really enjoyed filming it. It's kind of weird to be back in front of a camera after I think it's nearly a year off. I think we did a few Vlogmas videos, but they were really chill. So I don't know, it's kind of weird to feel sort of formal in front of a camera. I don't know, <laughs> I'm so awkward. <laughs> um but yes let me know if you guys have any questions or you want to know any links to get any of the products from my makeup collection and yeah so peace